Here we are on day 40 of our Forerunner Prayer and Fasting Initiative. It's been a time of preparation and a time of intimacy with the Lord, a time of testing and a time of stirring. Yesterday we talked about how it's time to birth the seeds that God has placed inside of us. I am reminded that it takes 40 weeks for a baby to develop inside a mother before the baby is birthed. We answered God's call to pray. And now we stand in great expectation of what God is going to do through us, his purified vessels. When a baby is born, all the challenges of the process, the pains of the labor, they are all eclipsed when you behold that new life. There is great joy as you hold that new baby. When Jesus sent out his 74 runners in Luke 10, they returned with great joy at witnessing and operating in the power of the name of Jesus. And in response, Jesus was also filled with a great ecstatic joy that bubbled out from him as he was filled with the Holy Spirit and praised his heavenly Father. When God sends us, and when we're obedient and go, and we see his kingdom come, there is great joy for both the forerunner and the Lord. There is a mutual delight that pours forth. Hebrews 12, 2-3 says, Fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith, for the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Consider him who endured such opposition from sinners, so that you will not grow weary and lose heart. As forerunners, we must continue to fix our gaze on Jesus. And regardless of what we face, that we always set the joy before us as Jesus did. The joy of the great reward. The joy of seeing his kingdom come and his will be done. The joy of our salvation. The joy of seeing the harvest gathered and the remnant of God moving. For the Lamb who is worthy to receive his reward. I challenge you, Forerunner, to keep on moving. Set your face like flint. Set his joy before you and run, 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 run for the glory of your King. Lord, we pray, we say that you are worthy. You are worthy, O God. No matter the cost, no matter how things look around us, no matter what comes up against us, we say that you are worthy of it all for us to surrender our lives to you. Father, would you strengthen your people today? Strengthen your forerunners, your remnants, so we may run the race set before us, that we would be very bold and courageous to bring your kingdom into the land. Holy Spirit, fill us afresh today. Stir us today. Empower us today to move with you and for you supernaturally. Protect us. Cover us with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for disarming the enemy, giving Jesus all authority, and commissioning us out in that same authority. Lord, we love you. We praise you. And we say, as we said in the beginning, here we are, O God, send us.